Evening, folks. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Dark Smoker. Tonight, I'm bringing you round two of Next Gen Racing's Chew It Racing Mini Cooper Cup. So we are live tonight for round two from Suzuka East. This is the short track. Uh, so let's have a quick scan through, see who's in. So we've got... Cuddles, Pav, myself, Myla Tyler, Zuzims, Potter McPot, uh, Hunty the Punty, Scar Wars, NGR Cutler, TC Fredo, NGR Big Z. So we have just been booted out of the lobby and uh, rejoined. So we're straight into the qualifying now. What am I doing? That's the wrong button. Let's see who's out on track. Potter McPot. Uh, he's currently in. Wait, well, let me flick to Potter currently. So NGR Cutler out on track. So 15 minute quality. Two races for you tonight. First of 15 minutes, second of half an hour. Slightly different setup for each race. I'll just pull up those details. slightly different to last season as well so the cars are running in the pro lobby they are running at 220 brake the pro ams are running at uh, 150 as last season these are the two chewit racing cars right here we've got tc fredo number three ngr cutler in uh, number second place currently so we've got the zebra and the cheetah evening ryan how you doing mate Oh, predictions early, Ryan. Predictions early. So, uh, two people in the lobby. Only one person in the lobby. It's saying no people in the lobby. It's saying Potter but Pot only is on track. And here we are with NGR Cutler. Yeah, let me just pull up the stats of these races tonight. So... Race one is 15 minutes. Okay, so they've thrown it back into a practice for now. Not sure if people are having issues joining the lobby. Polyphony, please, please sort this out. All your updates are doing nothing. So we've got Scar Wars out on track then. So yes, first race is a 15 minutes. Uh, 15 minute quali. To say I'm not sure how they're running quality. I think they're just running it as uh, a practice session. Hunty, evening, mate. Have a good race, buddy. Oh, okay, Ryan. So you played Daisy with them pair, all right? So Ryan Ellis uh, giving chance for Boonzy in uh, Pro Am and Cuddles in Pro. We'll see. So we had Potter McPot and Pav taking uh, one and two last week. Uh, new drivers to the league uh, started off on the good foot. So yes, race one, they start um, 
15 minute race. Tire wears at times 10, fuel is at times 8. And they start with 70 litres of fuel. Obviously, there's driving the minis. Uh, they can use any tire between the racing hard and super softs. So I would expect all drivers to be using the super softs, although uh, perhaps out on the mediums, you've given those a bit of a rock. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong list, idiot. For some reason, I had the uh, Enduro list up. So they start with the full tank. There's no choice on tyre, it's mediums only. Get on with it. 15 minute race. So we should start seeing lap times coming in. It is a short track tonight, so, so we should make some, some really good racing between these guys. Did have a similar sort of season with uh, the Toyotas, with the P1 boys around here. It did make for some really good racing because the laps are so short. Okay, so they have now chucked it into the qualifying session. So yes, we jump on to uh, race two of tonight. That's a reverse grid of race one. So it uh, times 10 and times eight on fuel for race two and they only start with 70 litres as I say uh, the weight is the same as last year with the uh, last season sorry with the 1050 kilograms but the pro lobby is running at 220 break the pro ams are running at 150 the pro am lobby will have uh, post race commentary done by Hunty the punty the man himself so uh, go check out his channel I will put a link in the description below to that pull up the standings so far so that's the wrong one so Pav leading this one after round one let's go and find him on track where is he here he is so Pav currently leading this uh, championship He's on 43 points. In second place is Potter McPot. Oh, he's on 37. As I say, both new drivers to this league had a really good start. NGR Cutler came in third. So he's uh, he's on 30 points. On 24 points, there's two drivers on 24 points. So fourth and fifth is uh, Conrad Racing and NGR Bigsy. Pav and Susie was having a bit of a fight. Punty the Punty currently taking fastest lap. Just at the there we go 55 uh, 55 2 for Hunty. Perhaps just 54 9. Why is Pav not flying in front of Hunty? That's bizarre. Oh, he has now. Susan's now taking fastest lap 54 8. So you're going to hear that bing quite a lot as people uh, cross the line. Uh, we were watching Zuzim's last night in the Super Formulas. Uh, he ran away with it again. 45 second lead by the uh, end of the race. Pav running around the outside of him though through there. So he's on that 54-8. Currently in second place is NGR Cutler on a 54-8 as well. But, uh, only just slower than Zuzim's. Pav in third as he just gets himself back on track with that 54-9. Hunty on that 55-0, Big Z 55-9 for Big Z, TC Fredo 55-9 as well for Fredo, getting a bit of a toe off, Scar Wars down there, Cuddles yet to leave the pits, so Potter and Pot now taking top spot, 54-7 for Potter, as he just gets himself back on track as well, a little bit of a look tap on Zuzims, so three minutes into this quali, Less than uh, less than a minute these laps. So kind of, kind of uh, carry on reading through the order. Burnt Fry is, is Burnt Fry going to turn up tonight? I don't think he's uh, I don't think he's here. He might have run out of internet. So he's currently in sixth, and he is on 23 points. So just behind uh, the two drivers in front. 
Kudels with 16 points behind. He's in seventh. Humpty Dumpty in eighth. He's only got nine points, unfortunately. Scar Wars in ninth. He's on eight points. TC Frado in tenth. He's got six points. I'm missing a table. I think I am. Who's that? So it might just be the 10 drivers in pro. So Zuzims, he retakes that uh, pole position, 54-4. Kodas chopped himself up into second as well with a 54-5. Bottom of pot still on that 54-7. Let's just stick with him as he comes down the uh, start finish straight. As I say, not a lot to this track. So he's still not able to go quicker. Let's uh, go on board for a bit of a lap with Potter. So he's down the start, finish straight to this first big open double apex turn. Oh, Potter just getting it wrong on the uh, Astro turf there. Just sticking out of the way, letting the path through. So back on the power again, then through the S's. Not sure what these minis are like this season through here with the uh, extra power. This last one's tighter than it looks. Easy to run wide on the exit of this. As I say, with a short track, they would usually continue right up here and carry on through those barriers, but they hang a, uh, sorry, continue left through those barriers, but they hang a right uh, back onto the start, finish straight. And that's pretty much a lap. So back up with Zuzims then. He's gone a little bit quicker, 54-2. Quarter of a second quicker than Cutler currently. Six minutes into quali. Plenty of time left for these guys. Pot, pot then still in that third. Big Z fourth, 54-8 for Big Z. He's moved up a little bit. Jump Pav. Pav struggling to be that 54-9 on lap two. as he comes down the start finish straight see what he's got as he comes across the line so he does go quicker back up into the third but uh potter mcpott's now put in a faster time he's put in a 54 5 as well so he retakes that position uh, and uh, cutler's puts himself in second pushes pav who thought he was in third back down to fourth so bigsy in fifth hunty in sixth let me change that camera angle Come on now. There we go. So TC Fredo in seventh, 55-5 for TC. Scar Wars seventh, 55-6. Cuddles still in the pits. So uh, TC Fredo out of a bit of a rally and experience. Bit of co-driving for uh, is it Ashley Davis or Davies? Yeah, watch that. Did all right, young man. You did all right. So sixth place for Fredo. Want to put some dirt tires on that thing and take it for a raz. So Zuzim's then still on that 54-2. Dory, evening mate, how you doing? Sorry mate, I was uh, paying attention to the race and not you. Big Z's up into third then, 54-6 for Big Z. So Ryan, I don't know uh, I don't know how your prediction of Cuddles taking this race or one of these races tonight, if he's still in the pits. Then he's back up into fourth. What's happened to? Where's he gone? Has Cutler left the room? Yes, he has. So let's. Oh, 
Oh, so if he's left the room, he won't be able to rejoin Quali. So we are just uh, eight drivers in the room. I don't know whether I hope uh, Cutler gets back in the room before the race kicks off. I'm sure Cuddles will sort that out. Potter with Pot then up into second. He's gone quicker. 54 4 for Potter. Pixie looking like he's quite happy at the minute. His team just inspecting his car, making sure he's got no damage. Pav's gone quicker as well. 54 6 for Pav up into fourth. Hunty fifth. Scar Wars has gone quicker too now. 54 9 for Scar Wars into sixth. TC Fredo 7th. Still on that 55-5. Just remember it's not the rally car, Fredo. Alright. Cuddle's still in the bits. Yeah, maybe maybe you need to send him a text, Ryan. So what are you playing at? So Zuzi goes quicker. This guy, I tell you. 4-2. This is the man you want on your sim racing team. This guy as well, Path 46. He's uh, been pretty consistent in all the uh, lobbies I've seen him in, as has Potter McPot. Big Z's been pretty relentless as well. Scar Wars had one or two mishaps last season. He was new to the season last year as well. He had a good, uh, had a good drive though. It's getting ever closer, TC Fredo. So just under four minutes left to Quali. <laughs> you have messaged him. <laughs> nice. Oh, Fredo, I told you it's not the rally car. Stop it. Yeah, this guy's a machine. He uh, he ran away with last night's Super Formulas by 45 seconds. Uh, plus, probably. He just knows his strategy. He uh, drives his car very, very smoothly. As you can see class in uh, line choice no disrespect to the, any of the other drivers in the league but um, as I say I've seen this guy look he's gone quicker again I've seen Zuzim's in lobby after lobby and uh, he's, he's as I say I don't even think he's an alien people people say the fast guys are aliens but I think like, this guy is like a quantum computer or something 4257 then for uh, Zuzims. He's still putting in purple sectors. As I say, it's just uh, he's a weapon. Potter and Pot up into second. He has gone quicker as well. 54-3. He's got Pav right behind him in third. 54-5 for Pav. do quite well here if he's getting a bit of a toe off Potter McPot. We'll just stick with these pairs, see what uh, Pab's got, see what Potter's got. Potter's a bit slower. Oh, I didn't flick over to Pab's time. Hunty the Punty's pushed himself up into fourth as well. I will just stick with these pair. So Potter McPot was a bit slower. He was. As was uh, Pav, so he was on a 54-6. Yeah, so Hunty the Punty then pushed himself up into fourth. 54-6-1-2 for him. Big C's now still sitting in the pits. Scarwall still out on track, trying to push that mini to its limit. TC Freddo still holding that seventh. So 
He's got a 52.9 there, but he must have had a bit of off-track action, maybe cut one of the um, chicanes. Oh, he's gone quicker, 55.5. Unfortunately, that keeps him in uh, seventh place, unable to uh, make any positions up. So let's go and see if Zuzims has gone quicker. <laughs> there you go. 54.1. the end of that one but there you go 54-1 for uh, Zuzims he's holding a little bit of damage but uh, that's repair itself pot and pot then so we have only got 30 seconds left of this quali everyone seeming quite content with their laps currently apart from Pav who's still out Kane in that mini round the track Last chance saloon then for Pav. He will get to finish this lap. I think. We have got to get uh, NGR Cutler back in the room if he's racing. Yeah, so they have got a minute remaining. Probably enough to get another lap in Pav if he wanted. No, he has uh, slowed down. in his starts so Humpty the Punty then keeping that fourth position at the end of that quali let's just uh, run through the order then so Zuzims as I say the machine that he is he was just getting quicker and quicker through the end of that qualifying session 54-1 for him puts him in pole position Potter McPot in second place 54-5 Pav 54-5 for him as well the Punty, as I was saying, managing to keep hold of that fourth position. Big Z finished that uh, quality out in the pits. Scar Wars sixth place, not managing to better that 54 6. Oh, Fredo's left the room. So we've lost Fredo and uh, Cutler. I'm not sure if they'll go for a restart. I hope so if the uh, guys are sort of messaging saying they're coming back. But that's your lineup. There's only seven drivers left now. Susan Potter, Pav Hunty, Big Z, Scar Wars, Cuddles. So we've got a good view of the lights. We're on with Susims. He's got uh, Pav right behind him. He's got Potter next to him. The lights are on. You can hear the revs already up. TC Freddo's back. So why is that suddenly flipped to Potter and Potter? Ah, uh, okay, so they are having a restart. You will just see drivers disappearing. So yeah, it looks like uh, TC Fredo got booted, so he's back. I don't know if... Ah, great, so Cutler's in the room as well. Bom -bom. Yep. So nine drivers tonight. As long as they all stay in the lobby. So Ryan, then, do you think uh, do you think Cuddles is playing it sneaky and uh, starting at the back of the race for this one, and then possibly so he could start the start of the race for the second one? Is that what he's doing, or is he just having issues? know him more than I would. I must talk to him a fair bit. So we're just going to uh, rejoin this room while Cuddle sets, resets the grid order with um, Cutler and Freddo back in. to enter, here they come. Oh, CC Fredo's left again. Fredo, get back in the room.
Fredo, cut back. He back. One minute for Fred. Come on, Fred. If you're on, if you're on, uh, if you're on uh, Wi-Fi, Fred, turn your phone off and stuff. Get more bandwidth. Kick your sister off, whatever she's on. Stop your mum from streaming, flipping summer. streaming get to stop it wow so it's just come up in the chat that uh, Cutler didn't leave although he actually left and you know we all saw him disappear he wasn't in the room he's saying nope and everyone just crashed into turn one and then everyone disappeared. How bizarre. So we are just waiting for Fredo. Pav's gone for a little sneaky lap. Pav, you naughty boy. Let's uh, go for a little ride round with Pav. On roof camp for a change. Wave at the other drivers in the pits as we drive past them. Should have honked your horn, uh, Pav. He's trying to Italian job that mini, and it's, uh, it didn't work out too badly. So what you will see is uh, if, if if Fredo takes any length of time, you'll start seeing burnouts. You'll start seeing handbrake turns. You'll start seeing people trying to crash into each other. Go, look. All right, Pav's practicing his starts. Potter's going for a sneaky lap. It will happen. Pav's already off. Oh, it's not looking like we're getting... Uh... Oh, yeah, TC Fredo's in. So why are we still a driver short? Or can I just not see him on track? On the list there on the right, I already said eight drivers. Let's just see what the uh, qualifying, uh, sorry, the grid looks like when it uh, rolls up. I was going to say that was taking its time. Uh, looks like we've got all nine. So we have Zuzim's Potter, Pav, Hunty, Big C, Scar Wars, Cutler, Fredo and Cuddles. That's your lineup for tonight's race. So race one, 15 minutes. No toy, tyre choice or fuel wear. It's just uh, all out, balls out. So Zuzim's taking pole position. Lights are up. The revs are on. They're away. So Zuzim doesn't get the best of starts. Pav's slowly closing him in. Potter's not doing too bad either. Pav's decided to chuck himself behind Potter. Cutler's coming down the inside looking for that position, but he's not able to do it. So it is uh, as grid order. So Zuzim's in P1 as they come around T1. Potter in second. Pav third. Hunty in fourth. Scarwell's fifth. Cutler in sixth. Bigsy seventh. Right on the rear end of uh, Cutler, Cuddles in eighth, and Fredo unfortunately oh, now leaving the room again. Unfortunately, so uh, Zuzim's then leads us round lap one. He's already gained half a second off Potter McPot in second place. Potter McPot's got Pav right on him, 0.3 of a second back, just losing a bit of time through there. So will Potter McPot get a good toe down here? He will drag Pav with him. I think he's quite close enough to uh, Zuzim's to benefit. He has closed in a little bit. A long start, finish straight. Uh, the cars stream through turn one then. Do they all keep it on track? They do 
Scarwell's now at the back of the pack, unfortunately. So I think we did hear tyre squealing a second ago and he span himself out. So back up to the front, Zuzim's had that gap closed down by Potter. Well, Potter's managed to drop path by a little bit. So a good first corner by Potter by the look of it. Can he put Zuzim under any pressure in the 15 minutes we've got, 13 minutes we've got? Path still fourth, Hunty then running himself nearly wide through T, uh, the last turn. Still holding fourth position, just dropping off the top three currently. Cutler in fifth position, he's got Bixie pretty close to him. That's less than half a second, or it's just extended now. So Bixie in at sixth, Cuddles in seventh. Scar Wars 3.4 back in eighth. A lot of work to do for Scar Wars if he's going to uh, get back into this one. Oh, he's gone supersonic into T1. He's kept it in a straight line, keep it off the Astra turf. That was an insane Scar Wars. What happens? He breaks. Susan then still leads. Potter Pot, Pot not letting him get out of sight yet. Pav still with this pair. Just losing a little bit more time. Pav gaining it back through there though. So Hunty the Punty now 1.2 seconds back from this fight in front. Can he get back involved and uh, look to get himself on the podium in race one? He's just out on his own a little bit at the minute. He's got Cutler about a uh, second back. So he's dragging Bigsy with him. So different lines through there between Cutler and Bigsy. Cutler keeping that position though, but Bigsy has closed in on him through that uh, first turn. Oh, Zuzims, Zuzims, what happened to Zuzims? Oh, I think he's just run it wide on that turn. And it's spanned the back end of that little mini out. Oh, Zuzims down in sixth position now. He's got a big old fight on his hands if he wants to get back on that podium. Potter McPot then taking the lead. He's nearly got a second over Pav himself now. Pav's also extended the gap over Hunty. So it looks like Hunty might have made a mistake. He's got Cutler right on him. Again, Bigsy closing in on Cutler through that section there. Just as they come through that first turn. Cliche, evening mate, how you doing? Smoke a lit. I like lit. So Zuzim's then after that unfortunate spin. He's now down in sixth position. Smashing into the wall at full speed. He was holding a bit of damage, but that has repaired itself. So he's got uh, ten and a half minutes to put the pressure back on. 4.5 seconds back from Big Z. A lot of work to do then. Big Z still right on Cutler's tailpipes. Cutler's closed right in on Hunty as well, though. So Hunty could be coming under some pressure here as he gets. Uh, he's going to be towing Cutler down. He's trying to drop him. is right on him oh he's outbraked himself he nearly took punty out fortunately that's put him off track and bigsy snuck through as well now so a lot of work to do for uh, cutler he's run himself wide on that turn as well oh, he's picked up a penalty so he's going to now come under a bit of pressure from zuzim's behind so zuzim's might gain a little bit by the end of this race so that's a uh, fortunate series of events for Cutler. We'll see what that does for him later on. We've got nine and a half minutes remaining. Susan still in sixth then. 3.2 back, 3.1 back from Cutler. So closing that gap slowly. Cuddles still in seventh. Scarwall still in eighth. So he has lost a bit more time. 4.9 back from Cuddles in seventh. This will, uh, if he finishes here, he will start at the front for race two. And he's got to fend off everyone for uh, half an hour of this. Potter and Pot then still leading this one. He's taken the fastest lap currently with a 54-0. Pav's keeping him in check though. He's kept it within a second as Pav. Well, as I say, they were in a battle with Zuzim as he was leading this race, but he's uh, he's ran it wide in one of the turns and just dicked a wheel on the grass or the uh, the gravel. 
and chucked him off track. So these two drivers then got 3.5 over P3. Pixie doing his fastest lap of the race there, 54.4. And Joe Cutler is still holding a little bit of penalty. But he's got so he's nicely into that fourth position, Suzim's. So he's up into fifth. He's got past Hunty, so Hunty must have had a bit of a mare as well. He's got a penalty. So he's lost two positions then, one to Cutler and one to Suzim's. So Susan is closing in even quicker on uh, NGR Cutler. He's 2.2 seconds. You can see there Cutler just going around that turn. Visibly closer then. He's got just under eight minutes left. Two point one. Cutler's no slouch. But, oh, he's run himself wide again as Cutler. That's going to slow him right down. He's going to clip some wallage there as well. So Zuzim's is going to come around here. Absolute full tilt. You can see that time tumbling 1.6, 1.5, 1.4. Might not be able to get him before T1, but he'll be right on his rear bumper for the rest of this lap. So down to 0.9 of a second between Zuzim's and Cutler, 0.8. So a little mistake by Cutler might just have cost him that fourth position. So let's chuck ourselves back up to the front. Pot, but Pot still leading. Three quarters of a second over Pav still. Pav's not letting him go. He's just getting a little bit of a toe still as they come down the start finish straight. So that's benefiting him. Uh, yes, mate. This is uh, this is Next Gen Racing's uh, Chew It Racing Mini Cooper Cup. It's every Monday night. 12-week uh, league, there is Pro and Pro-Am running currently. This is the Pro Lobby. Uh, Pro-Am is going to be post-race commentated over by Hunty the Punty, uh, who's in this lobby himself in sixth, this man here. So he's doing post-race for Pro-Ams, because he's good like that. Unfortunately, he's holding a bit of a penalty, though. Yeah, you ought to uh, you ought to join some of the sim racing clubs, mate. You ought to uh, have a look at Next Gen, uh, which is Next Gen Racing or NGR. There's Mature Racing Club or MRC. There's P1RC or uh, P1 Race Community. Go check any of them three out. They're pretty good. Sim FX as well. They're pretty good. All sorts of leagues running and stuff. Let me get back to this racing. Pavs Cloak Potter down half a second between these two. Gap coming down as well. Pavs getting that tone out. not to outbreak himself because of that so Bigsy then promoted up into third through uh, Zuzim's mistake 2.7 back is Cutler and Cutler has been hounded by Zuzim's down the inside of uh, turn one he's kept that position just that, uh, that could be all over in a corner or two's time as I say Zuzim's is an absolute machine when it comes to uh, driving on Gran Turismo every lobby I've uh, commentated on he's either ran away with it and I mean absolutely ran away with it and it doesn't matter what car what settings he just seems to uh, get on with it you can see look bumper to bumper with Cutler through there not a piece of paint traded oh he's done it again though has Zuzim's he's put a wheel on the grass and chucked himself around oh he was looking not to ghost into uh, the side of Hunty the punty so he loses that place back to uh, Hunty oh Zuzim's I was just bigging you up as well well, let me down live. Can't believe it. Gonna go and look at Cuddles instead. He's uh, down in seventh position. He's only 3.1 back from Zuzim's now with four and uh, four and a half minutes remaining. Oh, Zuzim's has done it again. He's off track. Scarwalls has closed the gap on Cuddles as well, only 1.7 back. So that could uh, that could still happen near the end of this race. And if Zuzim makes any more mistakes, Cuddles is going to take that sixth position off him as well. And he might even get him down the start finish straight, looking how close uh, Cuddles is. He has just lost a bit of time through that last turn there to Zuzim's. 
We should gain a bit of a toe down here. Who's that driving off track? Hunty, get back on track. I saw you in the distance there, peeling off left for no reason. Oh, Cuddles, where are you going? That's another supersonic manoeuvre into uh, turn one. That was Scar Wars last time we saw. Now Cuddles has done the same thing, so Scar Wars then promoted up into seventh, Cuddles now eighth. So back up to the front of this one, three minutes remaining. Bottom of pot has uh, had quite a comfortable race. was in second place for the first uh, sort of third of it until poor old Zuzim decided to chuck himself sideways in uh, the S's. Put himself back down in sixth position and then he's just done exactly the same thing twice. He's down in seventh now, so uh, Scar Wars getting past him. So, yeah, Zuzims could be playing it tactical here. He, oh, Cuddles. I think he's just done a Zuzims. He's put a wheel on that Astra turf and that's just chucked the car around. Oh, and he's left the room now. So, Zuzims may have been pay playing that tactically and just slowing down so he gets uh, the reverse grid first position. He will get that now. Cuddles has left unless he rejoins before race two. So Zuzim is now right at the back. So Potter McPot, one minute 55. They will just get oh, two more laps in. So coming to the end of this race, Pav starting to put it on him. 0.3 of a second between these two drivers. They've managed to tear nine and a half seconds away from uh, NGR Big Z. Pav all over the tailpipes of Potter, come on. Let's see if he can get the move done around here. Still that point three of a second. Just don't know whether he's closing in enough. I had a little look. Still point three of a second, Potter with Pop. Doing well to keep that position down there. And Pav just not uh, getting, seem to be getting the toe. He should be down there for some reason. So just a minute left. We've got Bigsy in third. Cutler, he's only 1.9 seconds back from uh, Bigsy. If Bigsy makes any mistakes in this last little section, that could be all over for him. Cutler very lucky to keep that fourth position. He was uh, under a lot of pressure from Susan. Susan was putting him under some serious pressure, but then uh, chucked himself off track again. Hunty the Punty then fifth. Consistent 55s there for Hunty, apart from his little spin at lap seven. Scar Wars and Zuzim's are fighting it out then as it comes to the end of this one. Will Scar Wars keep this position? Zuzim's is right on him. He might just sneak this at the line. 12 seconds remaining. He's down the inside. A little bit of a love tap he does. He sneaks down the inside of uh, Scar Wars, taking that sixth position. Time has run out, so he does just sneak that six at the end of that race, does uh, Zuzim's. Scar Wars takes seventh. So back up to this one. Could be the same for Potter and Pav here. If Pav gets a good run out of the last turn. Oh, Potter's run himself a little bit wide, has he? No. So Potter takes P1, Pav takes P2. Got Big Z, it looks like he's going to keep that P3 position for race one. Cutler not quite able to uh, catch up before the end of that race. So Cutler in fourth. Hunty coming around the last turn in fifth. And we've already seen Susan and Scar Wars come through. And unfortunately, we lost uh, Cuddles and uh, TC Freddo again. That's the blank spot, is TC Freddo. He disappeared straight after Quali. Bizarre. So Potter McPot taking that win. We will have a few minutes break and then into race two.
As I say, that's half an hour. That is reverse grid. Is it half? Yeah, it is half an hour. That's a reverse grid of race one. Slightly different settings, so uh, tyre wear is on times 10, fuel is times 8. Uh, they do only start with 70 litres of fuel. So strategy is going to come into this one. And keeping it on track, Zuzim's. I'm not going to pressure him on the PlayStation chat. I've got plenty of other chats I can pressure him on. I've got the Mini one, I've got the GR3s, I've got P1. So, room settings changing. Time of day, 30 minutes. Yeah, 70 litres. Oh, it's times 5 fuel. Apologies. Time wears times 10, fuel times 5. So, reverse grid. It's kind of a potter uh, at the back, followed by Pav, followed by Big Z, <coughs> followed by Cutler. Uh, I'm not sure where they're going to put. Oh, I'm not sure we're gonna, where they're going to put Cuddles. Unfortunately, TC Freddo's not back. He might rejoin the room, I don't know. I hope he does. I've just given Potter a shout. Unfortunately, he's uh, unable to take Potter in that race. But second position nonetheless. So still good points on the board at the start of the season. Cliche, if you're still on, uh, I'll put links in the description. They're in, they're in all these races. If you go to... Uh, if you go to any of the GR3 team versus team events... Uh, on my page, the, the links are all in the description there for all the sim racing groups. Go get involved, mate. Go get involved. And you'll have a look at the GTTCCs. It's only five week leagues. It's the MRC boys, GR4s. I've just introduced times three tyre wear, but I mean, it's a wicked bunch of lads. Real good banter. P1 boys as well, real good banter. Go give them a shout. <laughs> Duco, evening mate. Gone for a tinkle, has he? So, Duco's another friend of mine. He's uh, obviously sat next to Potter McPot while he's driving. Potter's also a close friend of mine. I do know Pav as well. I do know Pav 46. Uh, we have actually met. And Cuddles, I've met Cuddles. Where are your Cuddles? We met at uh, we met at Donington. Pav, we met Go Kine. It's not how we met him, but you know we knew him from the uh, we knew him from the sim racing before we went karting. But yeah, good lad, Pav. Proper t northerner. You get re on web with him, you would cliche. You can understand every word of that, can't you? That worked proper. I'm gonna say it. You all sound the same. The scarces, obviously, not the scarces, they sound different. So, some of the drivers out getting sneaky laps again. Oh, Mark's up there as well, is he, Dukes? All right, yes, Mark's. How you doing, brother? So all the boys around Potter and Potts tonight watching the uh, watching Potter put it down. So 
So no time given as to when, uh, oh, it says five minutes, then race two, all right. Let's get ourselves on track then. It ain't far off that now, I don't think. This man here, Potter McPop, taking race one win. Colour only managing fourth. He was putting uh, Bigsy under some pressure near the end of that one. Not quite enough to take the third position off him. Zuzim's unfortunately, where's he now? Sat in the pits, just coming out. He just decided he didn't want to play this race. I was bigging him up, telling him. Uh, giving everyone the props that he was like a machine and all the rest of it and he just promptly went and spun off track so thanks for that Zuzim's very professional of you and for a change for a change you'll notice Zuzim's is not running a, uh, a pink livery a pink or purple livery so all the liveries in uh, tonight's race are actual in real life uh, mini Cooper Cup liveries or past liveries so um, all these have been put together and designed, I think mostly by uh, NGR Cuddles, I believe. So a big shout out to Cuddles for all his work on the liveries. He's literally just assigned liveries to people, or people have chosen a particular colour if it's available. Uh, these are the Chewit Racing colours. One is the Zebra, and uh, we did see TC Fredo earlier in a Cheetah. Unfortunately, he's not in the room, so Cutler Racing under the colours of uh, Chewit Racing. So only the three drivers out on track. We're not going to get any good views of uh, Hunty's car or Pavs or Big Z's. So we still wait for one or two other drivers to come in the pits. Hunty's just decided to leave the lobby again. I'm sure he'll come back. start second on this grid which means if the fast guys at the back from race one don't get a good start Zuzim's going to be able to peel away a bit of a lead although I would have thought uh, I would have thought they'd have been able to get a good run down the start finish straight into turn one to maybe get one or two places So uh, oh, I have got Zuzim's in one chat. <laughs> Just giving his account of what happened. I can't repeat it on uh, on air, not on these professional streams. If someone reminds me Friday, I might say it. So we are just about to start this race. Back to seven drivers. No cuddles uh, in this one. Sitting race two out then, Cuddles. He wasn't having the best of races in race one. Is that better, Dukes? So we've got Zuzim's, Cutler, Potter, Hunty, the Punty, Pav, Bigsy, and Scar Wars. That's your lineup for race two. Let me see if I can turn my mic up. Kablamo, Kablumo. How's that? Better. Smash some buttons. So the lights are on, revs are up. Let's see how uh, Zuzim gets on. Still again, not another great start. Potter McPot started in third. I don't quite know how that works out. Oh, did the top three get a random start? Something like that, isn't it? So Cutler, Potter, and uh, where's Big Z then? Big Z's down in six currently. Potter McPot currently in second place, chasing down NGR Cutler. Cutler right on the rear bumper of uh, Zuzim's, not letting him get away with it just yet. As I say, we have got tyre wear and uh, fuel consumption on, so that's going to play a big part. Cutler running himself wide through there. Oh, Potter McPot not able to stick his nose down the inside. 
but he's right on the rear bumper as they come down into the start finish straight he's put two wheels on the grass though as Potter kept in a straight line unlike Zuzim's in race one but that's allowed Scar Wars to sneak past dropping Potter back Pav also diving down the outside of uh, Potter and he's going to lose another place possibly to Bigsy so that one little incident has cost him uh, three places now he's got Humpty the Punty in seventh 1.2 back but don't discount Pun uh, Humpty he's uh, a quick guy so Zuzim's then still leads this one f uh, 0.4 of a second from uh, Cutler so Scar Wars getting past Pav as well so all to do for uh, Pav and Potter doing well in race one having a bit of a nightmare is Potter in race two he is right on the rear bumper of Bigsy though as we come down the start finish straight Bigsy trying to drop that toe unable to do it chucks himself back over to the racing line Potter with Potts going for a look down the inside side by side through turn one through the second apex Potter gets it so back up into fifth for Potter and now Bigsy's going to get a good old toe on him he's not going to benefit through these turns Pav is uh, Potter is closing in on Pav he's only 0.8 of a second back from him currently he's out on the racing mediums let's just run through a bit of tyre selection so uh, Azuzim's out on the mediums Cutler on the softs but uh, you will see this man here is a magician when it comes to saving tyres and fuel he was last season possibly the extra power this season might uh, cause those tyres to wear out a little bit more but Scarwalls is out also out on the softs Pav out on the mediums Potter on the mediums uh, Bigsy on the mediums and uh, Hunty also on the mediums so it's only Scar Wars and Zuzim's uh, sorry Scar Wars and Cutler out on the softs everyone out on the mediums so oh, Cutler's run himself a bit wide he has kept it on track but he's going to lose a lot of time to Scar Wars behind him again you'll see uh, Cutler's very good at sticking his car in the right position as well there's a lot of cart in this guy he's uh, got really good racecraft I know the grid's all wrong. Like I say, I think there's uh, I think there's um, like a second race random grid chuck around for the top three. That's why they're all over the place. I did forget about that. So Scarwall starting to put Cutler under pressure. 0.2 of a second, just under 0.3. Just keeping it on track, sticking a wheel on that curb. Path in fourth. Potter's run himself wide. So he is now dropped back to six. He's still on the grass. Seventh now, Potter. So uh, I'm blaming Martin and Duco for that one. I can imagine they're uh, harassing him. Zuzim's managing to gain a second over Cutler. Just starting to creep away then, uh, Zuzim's. We'll see what the strategy's like. As I say, uh, Cutler's usually pretty good on tyres. He is out on the soft, so they're going to deteriorate pretty damn quick. He is keeping Zuzim's just in check, though. Still a second between those two. Scarwall's lost a bit of time to Cutler, gaining it back down that start finish straight, though. Right on him now. Trying to run him down the outside. Pav slowly closes in, in on these pair as well, 1.1 back. So Bigsy then up into fifth position through Potter's mistake. So he's three seconds back. Hunty the Punty is only a second back from Bigsy. Potter McPot then, 3.4 back from uh, Hunty. 25 minutes of this race remaining, plenty of time left for Potter's strategy to uh, play out. Go Zuzim's just creeping away 1.1, 1.2. Evening, Bags. How you doing, brother? Just eat 
another point of a second there. So 1.3, 1.4. Oh, that Scar Wars run himself wide in turn one as well. So he's going to lose this place to Pav. Oh, a little bit of contact between those two drivers, but uh, both kept it on track. Scar Wars possibly thrown his car right into the middle of the track there, but getting it back on track can be a nightmare. Because he's still in fifth. He's a fair old jump back from Scar Wars. Four seconds now. He's got Hunty 2.3 back. Potter at Potts closed that gap right down. 1.8 seconds between himself and Hunty. But he's smashed those mediums to bits. This might not even... Uh, oh, he's in the pits already. So he comes in on the on the mediums. I'm sure he might chuck on a set of softs. Let's see how he gets on with those. Let's see. They've got plenty of fuel left for a bit more of a stint. He is just changing tyres. So he's out on the super softs. Let's see what sort of lap times Potter can do with those then. They will wear out pretty damn quick. So, Zuzim's not quite uh, managed to sneak away with it yet. Cutler's kept him 1.1 seconds in check. Those racing mediums not looking anywhere near as worn as Potter's were. And GR Cutler, even though he's out on the softs, aren't too far off uh, Zuzim's in front either, actually. The first turn is pretty brutal on tyres. Scarwall's then battling out. Scarwall's getting back past Pav then. After he's uh, run himself wide in turn one. Oh, he's run himself wide through there. Oh, just uh, blocking Pav off. Pav going for the line, but uh, Scarwall's just trying to keep himself on track as uh, put an end to that move. Oh, it looks like we've lost another driver. Hunty the Punty has left the lobby. So that puts Potter back up into sixth. He's out on those super softs. Just got to take it a bit easy with those. So Zuzim has crept out to 1.5 seconds over NGR Cutler. Both of these drivers gaining a little bit of time over uh, Scar Wars in third. Looks like Pav might have been in the pits. He has, so out on the softs. Stays out in front of Potter. He's dropped that place to Bigsy, though. Bigsy's medium's looking absolutely battered, though. So he's going to be lucky to be going in a straight line, let alone uh, around any corners. Oh, Hunty, that's a shame, mate. So Pav 46 out on the uh, fresh racing soft. Cutler's now in the pit. So he is coming in on the softs. Let's see what he chucks on. So uh, plenty of fuel remaining. So he's stuck on another set of softs. He's obviously quite happy with the amount of time he can spend on those. Bigsy's now in the pits. He's now down in the sixth position. Potter's got past him. Just seen, so he's taking on board fuel as well. That's going to drop him way down time wise. That will all come back when uh, these guys stop for fuel as well as tyres. So Zuzim's got that 6.1 now through Cutler's pit stop. He stays out. So just under 20 minutes remaining, 10 minutes gone. So unfortunately, we've lost a few drivers. It does make um, not so good viewing for you guys. Less battles on track, etc. So Scar Wars yet to pit, currently in second. Ooh, again, just that Astro Turf. That's all it takes. Keep it off. Oh, he's on the sand as well now. 
That's unfortunate. So Cutler's going to come through. As long as these guys keep it on track, they'll probably take that position off him. Scarwell's just getting it back on track. So Cutler and Pav drive straight past him then, unfortunately. Pav putting the pressure on uh, Cutler, though. Potter and Potts only 3.6 back from uh, Scar Wars, which means he's not that far back from the two drivers in front. He is out on the super soft as well, which is a faster tyre. But it will deteriorate a lot quicker. You can see he's only done, what's he done? Ba -ba -ba, four or five laps. So back in. He has got fastest lap of the race. Maybe that's uh, what that was intended to do. So Zuzims comes in, he comes back out in third position. So Cutler's out on that fresh set of softs. He's got Pav for company at the minute. Zuzims 2.8 seconds back from that fight. He's out on the fresh set of softs as well. He's got half a tank of fuel. So a little bit more fuel than the drivers in front as well. Pot taking on fuel as was uh, Scar Wars. So full tank for Scar Wars, fresh set of racing mediums. Potter and Pot's done the same full tank and racing mediums. He's sitting at the back of the pack though, is Potter. So NGR Cutler currently leading. Closing these two in though, he's only 1.7 back from this fight now. Pav's got to drop that penalty without uh, losing too much time to Cutler or Zuzims. He has lost a little bit to uh, both. So Zuzims coming back through this one. He did start pretty much at the back. Didn't sorry, he started at the front because he flopped the first race, didn't he? Oh, so Pav losing his penalty through there. Pav dryer, sorry, Zuzim's driving straight through him. Pav coming to the pits anyway. So that puts Zuzim's back up into P2, 1.9 seconds back from Cutler. He's now putting fastest lap of the race of 54 6. Closing in on Cutler in front, 1.5 seconds that gap now. Pav now back in the pits, looking like he's going for full tank. Let's see what uh, see what tyres he comes out on. So he's out on the mediums as well. He's only uh, taken on half a tank of fuel, just under actually. Maybe just wanted to keep in front of Big Z. So no real battles on track currently. This is probably the closest. Zuzim's closing in on Cutler. Let's see what uh, Zuzim's can do. Let's have a look at his lines. See when he presses that nitro button he's got or whatever he's got. He's pouring lighter fuel in his tank or something. So down to 0.3 of a second between himself and Cutler. As they head through the S's then, closing in again on Cutler. But nowhere to go for Zuzim's currently. It's going to end in tears if you try and overtake through this section. So he hangs it uh, right onto the start finish straight. We'll see if he can get that move done on, uh, on this run down here. You can see how quick he exits that that turn there right on Cutler's rear bumper throws himself out to the left side by side then Cutler's holding him to the outside edge so the side by side through turn one Zuzim's just poking his nose in front getting that position done Cutler trying to run him wide around the exit but uh, unfortunately unable to uh, get anything done there so Zuzim's up into P1 Cutler P2, 
Pav in P3, kind of all out on his own a little bit, currently Pav. Big Z in P4, Scarwalls in P5, and Potter McPot P6. So Potter's out on the race in hards. Looking to go to the end of the race on those. 8.2, sorry, 6.2 seconds back from Scar Wars. Yeah, yeah, I see that, mate. Well, put it to the organisers. See what they say. able to close in on Scar Wars currently. So back up to Zuzims. He's made a bit of a gain over Cutler, 1.2 seconds. As I say, he's out on the softs. Uh, Cutler's also out on the softs. He's about out of fuel as well, though. Zuzim's still got a quarter of a tank. So Cutler stopping out for one more. quarter of a tank as well. I don't think he'll get that position off uh, Cutler. No, he's 21.3 seconds back. Although it depends how much fuel that uh, Cutler takes on board. So Bigsy also still holding quarter of a tank. Oh, he's run himself wide through the last turn. So Scar Wars then sneaking down the inside, no problem. Oh, just coming in the pits as well, Bigsy. That's unfortunate. So where's Potter McPot? He comes around the last turn. He is going to get that place back off of Scar Wars. Sorry, off of Big Z, not Scar Wars. And Potter McPot way past the uh, pit exit then. Heading into turn one. Fifth place for him currently. 6.9 seconds off of Scar Wars in front. Scar Wars out on the mediums. He's holding a fair old chunk of fuel as well. About the same as Potter. Are those tyres going to wear out a little bit quicker? So, Pav still holding that third. We'll see uh, a couple of should be in the pits. He stopped out for another one. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. As I say, he's uh, good with fuel and tyres, is Cutler. Ooh, keep it on track. Unfortunately, we've lost a few drivers from this one. So only uh, only six drivers racing now. So NGR Cutler then, he will dive into the pits now. Oh, no, he's run himself wide and into the wall. Oh, that's going to that's gonna ruin his uh, gappy over, had over Pav. I mean, he was going to lose a lot of that anyway due to the amount of fuel he's got to take on. But smashing into the wall is not going to help him one little bit. So Pav then comes around the last turn. And Jack Cutler still in the pit, so he's taken on board all that fuel. He is holding uh, gearbox damage as well. That's going to slow him down. I'm not sure if that's going to repair while he's in. Yes, it has done, so he's lucky for that. Down in third now, three point uh, or oh, even more, four point eight seconds back from Pav. But ten minutes remaining, he's looking to go to the end on that fuel and those tyres by the look of it. So it looks like he might gain that place back over Pav as well, because Pav's gonna have to take on a fair old chunk of fuel. Take on tyres on fuel with uh, Cutler only four seconds back now. Oh, he's closing the gap as well on the racing softs. Yeah, so he's going to keep that position then, NGR Cutler. Scarwall seven seconds back. Pav might even struggle to keep that position off uh, Scarwalls. Again, depending on how much fuel he's got. Potter Pot has closed the gap 5.2. Maybe not quick enough to get on the tailpipes of Scar Wars before the end of this race. It's definitely running to the end of the race with uh, that amount of fuel, Potter. So, B 
Pixie currently in sixth position, eight seconds back from Potter. As I say, with Potter not having to stop, it's very doubtful uh, Pixie's going to make any positions up. Zuzim is back in the pits then. He's got a 26 second lead, 28 second lead. Oh, he's lost a couple of places. No, he hasn't. That's just what happens. So he's back out into P1. Uh, let's have a look at his gap. 10 seconds over NGR Cutler. You see Cutler just coming around turn one now. Putting all the pressure on that outside left tyre. So Scarwalls is up into third position. Potter but Potts just gone past as well. So Pablo's in a couple of positions down into fifth. Again, he's out on the softs. Just enough fuel to get him to the end of the race. He's not that far off, Potter. Those faster tyres are going to come into effect now. You can see he's closing the gap already. 1.8 seconds off Potter McPot. 1.3. So the wear on those hards is starting to uh, affect Potter's lap times and his cornering ability. So let's just stick with this, actually. Let's go on board with uh, Pav as he looks for the overtake. Oh, he's straight down the inside of Potter. I'm going to jump straight back out to that view. Still just in front of Potter. No, he's not. He's got his nose in front now. He's way in front. So Pav taking that position off Potter at Pop up into fourth then for Pav. Yeah, that tie wear just uh, starting to hurt Potter at Pot now. Seven minutes remaining. Back down into fifth for Potter. Still a bit of breathing room behind. 8.2 seconds back to uh, Big Z. He's having a lonely race at the minute. Zuzim's then just sticks in fastest lap of the race. 54.6 for him. Still got that 10 second lead over Cutler. Nothing to worry about really from behind. Scar Wars now 13 seconds back from uh, NGR Cutler. Potter and Pot back in the pits. So looking to probably take off those hards and stick on something a little bit quicker. So he has lost that position to Big Z. If he, oh, has he? Because he'll get those tyres on pretty quick and back out. Big Z just come past Pick's exit now. Potter Pot right behind him. So he's out on the softs again. Still plenty of fuel. So he's only 3.2 back from Big Z. Uh, Big Z's tyres are pretty worn. He's on the mediums as well. So Potter and Pot will get that position back before the end of this race, I would expect. Zuzim's eking out a little bit more time. 10.7 seconds now. Cutler unable to uh, put a dent in that time of Zuzim's in front. He's not allowed Zuzim's to disappear up the road like uh, in some of the other races we've uh, watched Zuzim's in. But he's still got 11 seconds nonetheless. So Scar Wars in third position. Path 46, only 3.5 back from him. Scar Wars tyres looking pretty battered on those racing mediums. Paths are about half that on the softs. So I would expect him to close the gap up and possibly get that position off of him before the end of the race. Five minutes left. He's down to three seconds, that gap. Potter McPot then, he is back past uh, Big Z. Yeah, Big Z's tyres are absolutely battered. So Potter McPot is back up into fifth. There's a fair old chunk back from Pav though, 13.2. So uh, it's not looking likely to get back into that fight unless Pav has a mistake. So he's closing in on Scar Wars as well as Pav, down to 2.4 seconds. It was three the last time we checked in. He himself is 15, 15 seconds plus behind uh, Cutler. Pav now 2.3 seconds back. So the tyre wheel will start to come into play on Pav's car as well any second. 
He's got it down to less than two seconds between himself and Scar Wars. This is looking to be uh, the closest battle. Big gaps everywhere else. Yeah, Bigsy just losing more. Ah, oh, so he's chucked himself in the pits. Okay, I was going to say he's lost loads more time, but pit stop's going to do that. So let's go back with uh, Pav. Let's go on board with Scar Wars and have a look back. Oh, he's run himself wide. Oh, Scar Wars. So uh, Pav's just going to sneak down. Pow, just like that. I was expecting some uh, good onboard action then. Unfortunately, Scar Wars just hitting that Astro Turf again. Spun him out, so Pav promotes himself up into third position. That's another grid for Pav, another podium for Pav. It's, uh, every race so far has uh, Pav been on the podium. I'll do his points no end of favours. So where's Zuzim? It's 15.2 seconds up the road. So just under three minutes left. And GR Cutler looks like he might have had a bit of a mare. His tyres starting to wear out a little bit. Well, still gaining time over third place. So he was gaining time over Scar Wars, but Pav's passed. He's still gaining time over Pav as well. Scar Wars unlikely to be able to uh, get back on to Pav with that tyre wear. Better, better be careful from Potter McPot behind actually. Potter just lost a little bit more time to him there, but Got two minutes remaining. That's only two laps now. I don't think Potter's gonna be able to close that gap in any time soon. As long as Scar Wars keeps it on track in turn one. Pat's chucked himself in the pits. He's out of fuel. Not near his damn it. I wasn't paying attention to that. So Scar Wars back up into third then. Potter McPot's gone past as well. He's up into fourth. Or will Pav get out before him? I uh, don't think he will. Potter's gone past. He does get up to fourth. Pav back out the pits then. So what's he got? 4.2 seconds. So he's out on the softs. I would have thought super softs would have done you, Pav, for a bit of a last minute Blazamo. But now he's put the uh, he's put the softs on. He obviously likes the feel of those. Bigsy then unfortunately down sixth place currently still. He's had a bit of a lonely race as Bigsy. Zuzim's extending. 16, nearly 17 seconds over Cutler. So he's got 20 seconds, nearly, nearly 30 seconds over Scar Wars in third. So we are down to this will possibly, depending where Zuzim's is. So this will become last lap when the timer ticks over. So Zuzim's will get one more. Cutler will get one more. And then that will be it. The rest of the guys will uh, come across the line too late. Timer will have ticked over. They won't be able to get any more laps in. Not that they're in any danger of uh, getting any overtakes in anytime soon. Looking at the gaps on track. So just uh, seven seconds left. I don't think Scar Wars. No, he's near. So that's it. He just comes around that last turn. Timer ticks over. Comes across the line to take that third place. So good points on the board for Scar Wars. Potterman Pot in fourth. Unfortunately, Pav unable to get that position back off him before the end of that race. Super soft, mate. He should have gone super soft. He would have had him. And then Big Z coming home in sixth position. He's, uh, he's managed to get past Zuzims. Uh, sorry, Zuzims has got past him. And uh, we just wait for Cutler to come across the line. But yeah, good win for Zuzims. He uh, had a bit of an advantage that he started near the front. But he's not uh, hes not had it easy. Cutler's put him under some pressure. Potter and Pav are putting him under some pressure. 
Well, there you go. Pole position, fastest laps, clean races. Three in a row for Zuzims. So some more good racing from uh, the next-gen Chewit Racing Mini Cooper Cup, guys. So that was round two, live from uh, the short course of Suzuka East. We are back next week for round three. As I say, there are pro and pro-am lobbies as well, so uh, make sure you go and check out Hunty the Punty's page at some point if you want to go and check out the pro-am stream. Uh, it won't, sorry, it won't be a stream, it will be a post-race commentary. But uh, Yeah, go, um, go check that out in a couple of days when he's put that up. <laughs> I myself am back Wednesday for Next Gen Racing's Chew It. Uh, it's not the Chew It stuff. What am I talking about? Next Gen Racing's uh, Team Oliver Racing GR3 Team versus Team event. So we have got uh, Next Gen Racing. We've got MRC. We've got P1 and SimFX drivers all battling out in the GR3s. That as well is a 12-week uh, league. So into round three this week of that. And that's at half past eight on Wednesday. I'm back Thursday at nine o'clock for P1 Renault McGann trophies. Uh, I myself am actually behind the wheel on Friday. So that's an absolute swear fest on uh, nine o'clock on Friday. So if you want to see the unprofessional me, come and check that out. And then back Sundays for the Super Formula Boys, uh, P1 guys again. Um, that's only just started that league. So we'll see how that plays out. So yeah, that's me Wednesday, half past eight. Team versus team. Thursday, 9 o'clock, Renault McGann's. Friday, Swear Fest. Me behind the wheel. Sunday night, the P1 boys, uh, Super Formulas. And then back Monday next week for round three of this. So there will be links in description below to Next Gen Racing. There'll be links to Chew It Racing. I'll put a link in description to um, Hunty's page as well. <coughs> like, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. You know what's coming next. You do know what's coming next, don't you? one you all know what's coming next tell your mates tell your mum my name's dark smoker i'm out of here <laughs>